there is a lot happening today in the geopolitics, uh, politics and economics of the world, and even in AI and climate change and so on, where you no longer know if it's true or not, because the mainstream media and social media is you know, covering it in a way that makes you no longer understand what is, not, what is true and what is, re uh, and what is not. And I think the reality is one of the biggest skills, is those with authenticity and genuine uh, honesty as you know, humans or as businesses will very quickly get, again, the favor of people uh, uh, around them, of their clients and their partners and so on. I'm going to quickly talk about what we need to do in this environment. I, have, I really apologize for, for uh, concerning you. Everything that I spoke to you about, by the way, in terms of the changes that are about to come, are not changes because of the machines. Did you notice that? These are changes because of the way the humans will use the machines. Equally, by the way, humans could use those machines to say, let's completely ignore power. Every one of us can live like an emperor. It's fine. We don't need to compete, but that's not the human tendency. The human tendency, which I believe will eventually change, is that we want to aggregate more, we want to win. That's the capitalist mindset that America has built you know, since World War II prior, but really propagated very strongly. There will be a time, in my view, where we will all go back and say, why are we competing for this? The difference between the worst car in the world and the best car in the world is zero. Everything's so perfect. But the difference between the, the, the abundance that every one of us can have today and you know, the life that the Roman emperors had is infinite. So why are we competing for more? So I call that normally, in my book, Scary Smart, I call it the fourth inevitable that eventually humanity will come to a point where the extra fight is not worth the effort, because everyone is getting such an incredibly affordable, amazing uh, access to technology and life. There are three skills that every organization and every human, and by the way, your kids as well, uh, need to learn. One is uh, learn the tools, learn AI. Don't live in the fax machine era anymore. You, you, when, you, when you leave today, go to one of the top tools, Gemini or, or, uh, or ChatGPT, and basically ask and say, I'm in retail, I live in this country, uh, you know, I'm very interested in food and beverage retail or whatever, I don't know, something. What tools should I be aware of? Uh, you know, what tools, uh, what AI tools should I be aware of if I want to uh, find, uh, you know, create videos or create marketing material or whatever? And it will tell you and then you can follow from there. By the way, remember, nobody taught you PowerPoint. You didn't need a tutor to tell you that. So nobody will teach you AI. There will not be a course. You just hold the tool and start chatting to it. That's skill number one. Skill number two is I urge you, I urge you, I urge you to find the truth. Find the truth. The, the sign of this era is for you to not be... Uh, did you see the movie Idiocracy? Yeah, that, that's, a must, that's a cult classic. You have to see that. You really have to uh, find a way to tell yourself not everything I'm being told is true. I need to find out for myself what the truth is. So uh, the biggest difference between ChatGPT and Google Search when I worked at Google is that when you searched Google, it gave you a, a million sites and told you find your own truth. When you search ChatGPT, it tells you with confidence. The answer is, boom, a highly influenced Californian answer and view of the world. I went and asked ChatGPT, what is, my, what is Mo Gaudet's wife name? For four times in a row, it told me the wrong name with total confidence. And every time I corrected it, it said, oh, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, maybe you're right. And then on the fifth time, I said, what is Mo Gaudet's wife's name? It gave me the right answer, which is, I don't know. AI is not capable of doing that. So that's the second top skill. The third skill is human connection. Believe it or not, I'm going the exact opposite way. So I know the tools, I spend three hours a day to keep up, believe it or not. I'm very, very careful about, uh, about understanding the truth. That's the reason why I spend so much time in deep analysis of geopolitical and economic uh, issues. But the third one is human connection. So I'm no longer writing books. I, I just had my fourth bestseller last week, and that's it. I'm not, I'm not actually going to write books again, because books are not human. I'm going to go more and more and more in this. So my next topic to champion, I will actually prepare speeches about it. I will go and speak about it on podcasts. I may even prepare a, 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 a webinar about it or whatever. And then I will ask an AI to write the book. I, I no longer need to do the tasks that they can do better than me. 
but the task I can do better than them is this, is to be able to see you and hug you and say hi and so on and so 